At Centric, we use the term protocol consensus to explain the point at which Centric Swap CNS, our freely traded token, is valued at $1 USD on the secondary markets. So on the exchanges where CNS is traded, once the price of CNS reaches $1, we are said to be at protocol consensus. And what does that mean? Basically, when CNS hits $1, Centric Rise CNR, our in-network token, will be its true value. Right now, it's almost $140 a token. So every CNR token, if we were to be at $1 CNS today, every CNR token would be worth about $140 each. What else is significant about protocol consensus is that the entire value of the network will be unlocked, all the layer two utility. And we'll probably get into that in future videos, but I wanna read a couple of selections from the Centric docs just so you kind of get some perspective where we've been, uh, where we are now and where we're headed regarding protocol consensus and why it's important and why you should care about it. Back in December of 2017, uh, the original idea for a manipulation proof currency was born. And this is the original impetus of Centric. How could cryptocurrency be adopted as a medium of exchange with all of the volatility? So that was the initial question that our team was asking way back when. Why would a stable coin be adopted when local currencies are fine for mere transactional activity? Again, one of the problems with current stable coins is that all they are is electronic dollars backed by fiat or US dollar equivalents. A self-regulating token supply uh, to meet ongoing changes in demand is and was the key to Centric. Over time, solving volatility while maintaining a store of value and increasing purchasing power, which is something I talk about all the time, will be realized. At Centric's protocol consensus, it will be the we told you so moment for the world's financial system and all of its users. Basically, protocol consensus is, is the key to everything that we've developed at Centric. Centric has been fully deployed as a dual token protocol since February of 2020. The original idea, according to the docs, is December of 2017. That's when you know the original members of Team Centric were coming up with the idea for a manipulation-proof currency has to be stable if it's gonna be used globally for transactions, but also remain a store of value. And that's what we have in Centric Rise CNR. That's another reason why CNR is not traded. CNS is, but CNR is not traded and therefore non-speculative. But as soon as the secondary markets value Centric Swap CNS at $1, that's when the fun starts. So when Centric Protocol reaches protocol consensus, this will be reflected by CNS trading on the secondary markets at $1 USD. This means that the market values CNR at the price block that it's currently at and will fully unlock Centric's L2 plus utility to be used as a reliable decentralized global currency. Again, in other talks I've done on Centric, I've referenced the price blocks. And if you've never visited the Centric price blocks on the website, go to centric.com slash metrics or go to centric.com, click on the learn tab and then click, click on key metrics. And at the very bottom of the key metrics page, you'll see our Centric Rise CNR price blocks. And the team calculates these price blocks and hard codes them to the chain every month one year in advance. So we already know what the price of Centric Rise CNR is going to be this time next year. And that's pretty, pretty sweet. It's important to understand that Centric can drop out of protocol consensus and a significant period of time will be required for the mass market to gain trust of the protocol by holding the CNS $1 price. Again, because CNS Centric Swap is valued by the markets, the market determines its price. It's designed to stabilize at $1 and eventually it'll hit a dollar. But once it does hit a dollar, it could go up, it could go down because it's a freely traded token. The purpose of 
the protocol consensus conversation is just so we all understand that what does that mean? When, when the centric community talks about protocol consensus, what does it mean for centric? And that, that basically means that we will have arrived. Everything we've been talking about for years will have been realized at that point of protocol consensus because centric swap CNS will be $1. The total full value of centric rise CNR tokens will be the face value. And the wonderful thing about this is you can visit the website every single day, or if you're a centric user, you can check right inside your centric wa wallet every hour to see where the, where the price of centric rise is at. And understand it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if we think about one CNS equaling $1, it's, it's basically reflected in the CNR token price. And like I said, right now, today, obviously every hour it's changing, but it's around $140 a token right now. Another way to think about that is 140 CNS are inside of each centric rise token, basically. Now, when someone sells CNS today, they are minting tokens based on a $1 conversion and selling at a discounted price because right now, centric swap is a little bit lower. A lower CNS trading price fosters a faster CNR burn as more CNR tokens are required to stay locked in the protocol, subjecting them to burn each hour. And if you want to learn about the burn, we're not going to get into it in this video, but we, we will probably address it in future videos. But you can go to centric.com slash blog, and there's a three-part blog series on the burn, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so this, this last part kind of gets into users or crypto investors. Remember, people who make lots of money in crypto are long-term holders or long-term holders. The users who hold their hold, excuse me, the users who hold have their market share go up every hour. It's the burn that increases our market share. And let me let me stop there for a second. Because centric rice tokens yield more CNS value every hour, those of us that are holding CNR are gaining more market share of the future centric economy. And that's significant because CNR tokens are deflationary. It's a deflationary amount. It's not an unlimited amount. And because a certain amount of CNR is burning off every hour to keep the keep the network stable, because every every token is growing CNS every hour, and to keep things balanced, there's there's a burn off of CNR out of the protocol. That means that we are gaining more market share every single hour just by holding CNR tokens. And the true value will be created over time because when people understand how the protocol works, they are going to want more and more centric rise CNR. Not just because it's non-speculative and can't be affected by what's happening in the markets directly, but just because that future value is out there, it's clear. We know that it's out there. We know it's going to happen. With that, I'm going to wrap up. I don't want to go much longer than this on protocol consensus, but what is it? Why should you care? In a nutshell, cent uh, centric swap CNS, when it reaches $1, we will be at what we call protocol consensus. And that's when the full value of the centric network will not just be unlocked, but it'll be valued by the market. And we'll try to get into more of that in a future video. But if you have any comments or questions, any ideas, anything to share, please drop those in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.